is this is all about you this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from born without boundaries the oracle card spread we're going to do full spread here it's an energy reading so aries wherever it could be you could be aries sun moon rising sign wherever aries energy influences your natal chart you can apply these energies for the next seven days now there's a much more detailed and articulated extended reading that link is below please do head on over to that if you want to if you want a deeper read and your romance reading is included in that as well Ooh, for some reason i showed you mm, i don't know aries let's see what we get to aries aries energy aries 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 energy for this day for this day this very beautiful day though depending on where you are in the world also very cold day learn from the past seven energy of creation you're creating a new life and i wanted to ask this question before i came on have you been feeling exhausted tired completely almost depleted of energy lately it's because you're going through an awakening awakening what awakening it's because you're going through an awakening aries it's because you're synthesizing information and most of your work it's almost like being sick but it's not being sick and the reason why it's like being sick is because when you're sick, what is your what does your body need to do outwardly? Sleep. That's all you want to do. It's just you just want to sleep. Why? Because the energy is really your body is using all its energy inwardly to heal itself. And that's exactly what's going on with you right now. Spiritual healing. You are healing yourself inwardly. So if you have felt a lot of exhaustion or like an unusual amount of tiredness. It's because your body is focusing its energy inwardly because it is awakening. It's healing. It's synthesizing information that's coming back to you during this very emotional retrograde. It's all coming back to you now, but it's, it's, it needs to be synthesized. It needs to be put together, replaced, pulled apart. I analyzed so all of your energy is really inward. Why? So that you can learn. You can learn. This is a great time to learn from what you've processed, what you've held on to through the past, from the past. It's almost like these little bubbles, these pustules of memories are being popped out now, not to make you sit and your and your like spiritual blood cells are going toward them to like feed on them, eat them, like um, puzzle piece them together to learn what they can from them. You're awakening Aries a hundred percent. Understand that you are the sign that comes right after Pisces. So these experiences and these, these shifts and changes and awakening that's happening now is so that you can prepare for a rebirth. You are adjusting and thinking of things in a different way. You're don't feel like the same person even. Why? because you're cocooning you are breaking down to build back up into somebody something somebody totally different and it's all based on these experiences that you've had in the past there's going to be a lot of memories coming back to you this week do not be surprised that they're just flooding flooding you all kinds of memories even maybe even like manifested memories as in exes or old friends coming back from the past reaching out to you contacting you making you feel stuff that you haven't felt in a while this is all so that you can literally transform into the new version of yourself that you're ready to become this is a rebirth period right now though these next seven to ten days are 100 150 percent they're about you putting your energy inward to utilize all the information that's coming to you to prepare yourself, to analyze it, to think about it, to learn so that you can move on, to learn so that you can graduate to the next level of your life. Next card out, time for... Mm, loving it, baby. Um, this is La Vie en Rose, the life of love. This is happiness and love and abundance and romance and beauty, but it's deep, right? And I think it's a, d a deeper understanding of what love is, an understanding of what love is at a, a level that you never really understood before. Something is touching your heart a great deal. Something that is very, very important to you. Maybe something that's been in your life for a very, very long time. Somebody who's been in your life for a very long time. Coming back up, sort of romantic feelings that are stirring. I'm going to say this to you, especially for any retrograde romances. And no, this is not your romance reading. We will get into your romance reading. But if there are any romance nuances coming at you this week Aries let it happen 
No, not because you expect them to last forever, but it's part of the dive. It's part of diving deep. It's part of leaving yourself just completely and totally vulnerable so that you can understand love at a deeper level and a deeper connection and eventually have a deeper connection to somebody. Hmm. It's also asking, the cards are also asking with this learn from the past is learn about love. Learn about love through your own experiences. What have your experiences with love taught you? What have you not seen? What have you not wanted to see? What lessons have you tried to avoid? What lessons have you skipped class? Because if you skip class, it's during the retrograde that the principal shows up at your doorstep and says, get your butt back to school. You skip class. You still have to do this grade all over again. Like that's what happens. Yeah. Uh, time for a deep dive. So yes, it's almost like ghosts of Christmas past. Yes, you're going to learn from the past. You're going to learn from your past love affairs. Number one. Let's see what else is coming out. All right. You're going to learn from your past love affairs. You're going to learn trust in the great mystery. You are diving in deep. Diving in deep, I don't think it is necessarily to a new romance, but if there is a new romance that comes into your life, it is 100% related to a lesson that it's part of the lesson plan. It's part of the lesson plan that you need. You're going underneath the surface. You're subverting. You're digging around in the dark in those places that you usually never go. You're feeling very emotional. There's a lot of water energy, but there's earth energy too. So you can look at it in a grounded, practical way and use those memories in a practical way to help you understand love better. So if you are somehow finding yourself in this whirlwind romance or this, or somebody's coming back to you from the past, let it happen. Why? Not because it's going to last forever, because principles knocking on your door. This is a lesson you need to get to the next step. It'll only last for about a week, a week, maybe a week and a half. It's not going to last forever, but it's actually something. It's part of the test that you need to pass to move to the next level. Chameleon, act as if. Um, Fake it till you make it, essentially. Like I said, though, it's almost like this is a fake love to prepare you for a real love. That's what I'm getting off of this card. It's going to change. It's going to have a quick turnaround. It's going to change fast. If it's not about love, it's about a job opportunity, a consulting position. I do feel like it's about love because there's maybe even something about love that 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 it has to like through this like whirlwind romance, it will teach you something about life. But there is a, a, suge a suggestion of this isn't going to last long. It's a fake it till you make it. And this is almost like a fake love. Like I said, it's a fake love to prepare you for a real love. Um, life is a mystery. Mask. A mask. A great, a, not maybe a great deception. Infinity. Destiny. This is time to see through the veil. This is time to wear the mask. Oh, it's like you're, it's like you're putting on somebody else's skin to understand what you didn't understand that was keeping you from getting what you want. Ooh, that's intense. That's it's, but it, in other words, once again, let this experience happen. You're supposed to, you needed to, it's been, you've been, you've been called to do it for quite some time. It's been asking you. Aries, why don't you show up? You know what I'm saying? So if you are being asked to put be put in a situation that is unfamiliar to you, that is weird to you, that you normally would have avoided like the plague, allow yourself to be put into that position. It's part of your learning process to teach you and prepare you for your next step. You are literally assuming a different mantle, a different role a different perspective to understand it. Walking in somebody's shoes, it's almost like acting. You know, like you're acting, act as if. Act as if to understand a little bit deeper the mystery of life. Maybe you are actually acting. You are like performing. It's gonna teach you something about life. Maybe you're going someplace or traveling, being putting yourself into a very foreign environment to sort of try to like immerse yourself into something to understand it completely. Spirit has your back. 
This is destiny. This is also foresight. This is looking toward the future. It's taking the lead. It's doing things by the rules. It's Capricornian energy. It's long term. So what you're doing now, this fleeting energy is actually teaching you something or preparing you some, for something that's going to be able, that's going to enable you excuse me, that's going to enable efforts that are long-term. Um, almost like earning your degree, some sort of energy like that. It's like, no, you're not going to be in these stupid classes forever, but you have to get past this step in order to earn your degree that will eventually get you the career that you want. This is also, um, I'm not feeling major government energy. There's um, certainty. There's certainness about this energy a lot of faith involved here on once again the energy of change two plus three change maybe a change in leadership maybe you just got like a change at work like a new boss or something and right now you just gotta fake it till you make it and pretend like you like them you know like pretend that you like them you know because that's the only way you're gonna get through it but you do have to get through this and you do have to bide your time. Crow, co-create with spirit. This is all destiny. This is spiritual intervention. This is also head over heart. That's what's crowning your energy. Learn from the past. Look at this from an objective perspective. You're living in the skin or you're experiencing what you're experiencing this week. Please try to be as objective as possible. Like, like remove yourself from the situation and sort and, and see it from an aerial perspective, an aerial point of view so that you can see where this is leading. It will give you hope. It'll keep you connected and it'll keep you listening and being guided by what you're supposed to be guided by. Two of the same number here. One plus seven is eight. And this is eight. This is destiny. This is like, like having spirit knock on your door and say, you have to get through this. This is, this is something that is required of you. Um, spirit is the principle here. Um, but definitely being put into a circumstance or a situation where you have to, um, just trust that there is a reason why you're here. We're going to get deeper into it. Don't worry about it. Slow and steady wins the race. Emotional stability. This is my King of Cups card. Learning your self-worth. Um, learning it, but not just learning it, knowing it. This is, this is the energy, Cancer energy. Six plus two is also eight. More eight energy. More destined. In other words, this is destined. What did I say? You're growing up. You're maturing. You're learning from the past to take you into the future, but you're changing. This is your cocoon period. Your skin is thicker. You wear your shell not to hide in it, but because you've earned it and it keeps you safe, but you're not sinking below. You're not trying to avoid. Eventually, after this sort of really rough patch this, this next week, it, you're going to so you're going to have it's almost like the rough patch is that shell forming it's that it's that defense that you need to carry with you for the rest of your life but not defense in a bad way as in just your thin your skin thickening um and finding a way to incorporate it into your life this week hold on i, I will t i'll flip the camera around too so don't worry about that time to heal and this is the energy of bam 55 this is that fire energy that lives inside your gut, that kundalini energy that sort of churns and burns. And it's almost like it's where, this is Pisces season, it's where we push all of that energy, that, that toxic energy that we don't know what to do with. And then it twists and it coils and it becomes its own thing. And that's what's sort of coming up and being released. So if you are facing a lot of demons or a lot of challenges, things that you don't understand or situations that you normally wouldn't be put into, expect those things this week. Why? Healing. They've got to be released. Those toxins have got to be expelled. They've got to get out. But it's also an energy that will heal you. If you allow the process and sort of give yourself over and remain objective. I keep wanting to say that to you. Remain objective. Don't take what's happening to you personally because it is fleeting. It is going to be over and it is an opportunity to make you heal but don't be surprised if this stings this week if there's a if there's definitely a stinger or you don't feel so good especially in the gut area like feeling sick to your stomach 
um, feeling worn out, like some, like your energy is being siphoned away. It really is. It kind of is. It's being, it's almost being like, like a black hole is pulling it in, but that's what you have to release in order to finally heal. It's all for healing. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe even you get impulses to like talk to people that you haven't talked to in a while almost challenge like look for challenges look look for um those dangerous situations to sort of put yourself into uncomfortable situations to want to learn i wouldn't be surprised time to heal that's your grounding energy maybe that's it nope a rebirth is assured and holy crap 555 five, five. There's a big change that's coming in your life. Get ready for it. It's going to hurt like hell. You know why it's hurting? Because it's been so long overdue. This isn't a hurt that's going to... A rebirth is assured. So a change, a new kind of life, a birth, even saving. A life is going to be saved. I wouldn't be surprised if a life is saved. Maybe your life is saved or you helped to save a life or... There's some sort of news that comes in is like, oh my God, we didn't think they'd make it. A life is going to be saved. A huge change is happening though. A huge shift. Five, five, five. That is the number of change. It's chaotic. It's tumultuous. It's turnover. Why? To take you to a different place. To help you heal and forgive and release. Okay. This is a really interesting card that popped out in conjunction with these other cards. Now is a lucky time. And snakes eat rabbits, but he's turned in the opposite direction. It's not about food, it's about opportunity. You're not gonna be feeling the luck right now, but this is your grounding energy. All this healing that's going on is one of the most fortunate thing that's ever happened in your life. Because it's changing you, it's changing you alchemically. Four plus nine is 13, four. It's grounding you, it's stabilizing you. It's your stability. Maybe this is your family is going to be um, your stability throughout this very transitional time in your life. Maybe you're going back to live with your family for a while. Um, maybe you are um, getting closer to your family or wanna be near them. There is definitely a sense of, of wanting to be surrounded by that warmth and that home, that energy of four to ground you as you go through this transition of finding where you're comfortable as you transition. Um, but it's definitely like doubling, doubling down on your abundance as well. So this is not, this is not bad. It, like what will come out of this week is abs is every, anything but bad. It's just going to be painful, like giving birth. Like, like, like imagine giving birth over and over and over again, multiple times. That's what's kind of going on with you. You're being born, you're being reborn. Hmm. You may, it's almost like you're going through a death and rebirth cycle multiple times during this week. You may get news that somebody you know is having a baby. You may get news that you're having a baby because this is my fertility card. It could very well be that you're coming together and, and, and healing after something that has to do with children. Something with children in your life is healing. It's coming to a conclusion. It's, it's getting better. There's progress being made and happiness being restored. 
I'm gonna flip the camera angle around. Hold on, Erin. It's just, it seems like this shouldn't be grounding energy. Like how is change grounding you? But what this is saying is this change you're going through now is going to secure you into the future. And it, whether it feels like it or not, it's the best thing that could happen for you. And that's why you're being asked to re, be remaining, ob, remain objective and not to take this personally because there is that caveat of you could really feel like you're being attacked or you're being pressured into something that you don't like or don't feel comfortable with. I want to pull out tarot. We're going to go into tarot. All right, guys, if you want to join me for that tarot reading, please do Aries hop on over there. That link is below. Remember your romance reading is over there too. I'll see you over there.